morning, my dudes. We made it to Dubai. Dude, this airport is, they say it's like one of the best airports in the world. So we're about to find out. We just landed from Cape Town. But I'm not really looking forward to the next flight because it's 16 hours. So we'll see what happens. So the airplane we just got on, think of a regular airplane but on cocaine. That's how nice it was. Like there's free Wi-Fi. There's we could play I played freaking Tetris the whole time. What else it was? Freaking 500 movies. The bathroom had golden seats. Freaking amazing. <laughs> Okay, okay, I can see why people think this is the nice airport. So you gotta realize, it's still really early in the morning. It's not even 6 yet. What do you think this sign says, right there? Rolex. I think it says, Rolex. we're richer it's than Rolex. you. It's, it's not Rolex. I think it says, we're Rolex. richer than you. It's Rolex. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Not only that this airport is the nicest airport, supposedly, in the world, it's the hottest airport in the world. It's 6 o'clock and it's like nearly 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius, extremely hot right now. There's a freaking camel in the airport, like a statue of a camel. This is so pretty. You're so pretty, Mr. Camel, you're so pretty. We've been walking for like five minutes now and everything has been looking amazing. It's like a mall inside a, an airport, slash restaurant, slash first class, slash water park, slash amusement park. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a freaking roller coaster over there or like camels walking around. This is. Amazing. We're trying to find food. All right, we're on the quest to find McDonald's because they sell Dubai burgers here. This airport is so huge, we're literally like lost. Where, where is the thing? I don't know. It's like, you know, there's free McDonald's here. Like at, at each gate, they have McDonald's here. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Really? They, this airport is so huge, they have three McDonald's. What the f? They have a shoe store here. What the f? They have a grocery store here. They have a grocery what? store. They have a freaking cow here. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's? Are you here? Excuse me. Do you know where McDonald's is? McDonald's? 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 What? McDonald's? McDonald's? I think it's over here, guys. Seriously, look at this place. It's like a freaking giant mall. They have stuff in the middle of the aisle or the, the, the hallways. They have stores here, stores there. Rolex clocks right there. They have another grocery store here. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where McDonald's is? Over there? Okay, thank you. I'll give you three seconds if you can figure out what this means. One, two, three. Starbucks. We have found McDonald's or McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Check out this awesome menu. Big Mac, we got Big Tasty, McRoyal, number, look at that, number eight says McArabia. <laughs> uh, chicken Mac, that looks like two McChickens combined, literally. Anyways, this is the most healthiest breakfast we could find, so we're gonna devour it now. Uh, can I get uh, num uh, grand chicken, or number 10? The spicy? The spicy grand chicken. Yeah. Okay, drink sir? Uh, just coke. Okay, I got that grand chicken. I got the french fries. And I got the soda. Hello! Welcome to a field review of Dubai McDonald's with Roy. Today we have a grand chicken. Smashing. Mm, smashing. Let's try it. Mmm, it's good. Okay, here we go. Flavor. Ooh, I, there's there's a sense of flavor. I could already tell it's better than the one in America for sure. <laughs> French fries. Ooh, tastes like Dubai potatoes. I, they feed their potatoes with golden dust. I can understand why it's good. Okay, how about the Coca Cola? Wow, they actually put Coke in this Coke. Wow, I would rate this McDonald's. Eight out of ten. Is that McDonald's water? No. Nah, oh, there. it does. And McDonald's <laughs> has their own water here. Rate, rate, rate. Uh, hold on. Five. I mean eight. I mean, don't hurt. Don't hate me, Dubai. Pretty fresh. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight too. <laughs> it's 
six. Six? So I'm in the bathroom. I wanted to take a number two. Okay, don't be grossed out. I was gonna take a number two, but... What is that? What the f is that? Okay, these guys taught me how to say hello in Russian. It's Sasihui Dobayop. All right, so Max, yeah, yeah. Max has a keyboard, like but he has a Russian yeah. keyboard. Okay. Uh, Your boy's gonna be on ah, flight for ah, bleh. Bleh. Long time, man. Uh, it's all good, though. Bleh. 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 E. 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 Next one is complicated. Okay? Ikratka. Ikratka. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, it, 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 but it's, it sounds it's, like it's, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like E, but the name of it is Ikratka. Ikratka. Yeah. Why you guys have so many letters? I don't know. Because we've got a lot of words. <laughs> That's why we've got so many swear words. You know? Oh, because you have more letters. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. The time is currently almost time to board. We're probably boarding in like 10 minutes, so they're walking us to our flights. All right. We're trying to speak. Uh, British and uh, British. <laughs> Max British. and Kirill, they're uh, both Russian, so it, yeah, so we you want to try? Like, say, uh, um, yeah. hello, can I have a cup of tea? Uh, hello, and uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. hello, can I have a cup can of I tea? Have a cup of tea? <laughs> you have, you have, you have my beer, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you have my beer, <laughs> your beer. Yeah, where, where my beer? Beer? Uh, water. Butter. Water. 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 Do you drink water? water? Can I have a cup of water? Uh, do you have a... Uh, <laughs> you, have a you have a lighter? What? You, like, uh, you lighter. sound drunk. Yeah, you have do. a lighter? Oh, so you, are, <laughs> you sound messed up. <laughs> uh, you sound like you're having a seizure. So we're in the gate now. We have to say goodbye. Dude, you guys are like family now. Oh, Later, guys. Bye, guys. The thing about this last couple days is like we all bonded together, so it feels like family. I know it's like a trip. We like film a movie. But overall, like, we just shared this special connection together. I feel like we're a lot closer. They're like brothers and sisters to me now. What from other say? international states. Not states, but international areas. So this is me, Brandon, and Alex now. From here on out, it's just gonna be straight up B-roll. Cause what else am I gonna do for 16 hours other than sleep, watch movies, play games? I'm just gonna film some B-roll. I have window seat this time, finally. But the thing about the window seat is if I have to pee, I have to pee two people right next to me. So it's either I wake them up or I hop over them. So it's either one or the other. 16 hour flight, here we go. Window seat, so awesome. Check this out. I have the whole row to myself. Oh my gosh, I can make a bed. After 15 hours, I finally made it back home in Los Angeles. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. All right, my little chicken nuggets. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going back. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, I think I'm good now. They told me to turn off the camera because they're super strict whenever you're coming from another continent into America. Hey. Oh, wow. You're picking me up? Yeah, in reality, Alex didn't come with me to Cape Town. He's already in Los Angeles. He got to Los Angeles before I did, so. Okay, well, thank you for 
joining me in this South African adventure. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna go home and pass out. I almost slept like five hours in the plane, so, you know. All right, I'll see you dudes tomorrow. Peace out, my little chicken nuggets. Mwah.